Citroen's acclaimed DS line breaks new ground with the arrival of the dynamic new DS4. Designed first and foremost as a sleek coupe, but with five-door flexibility and a commanding raised stance, DS4 takes creative technology to a whole new level, a perfect sequel to the multi-award winning DS3. Its eye-catching lines are enhanced by a chrome-finished waistline and dark-tinted windows, with sculptured wheel arches emphasising the stylish alloys. The torch roofline and rear spoiler add extra prowess. Striking always-on light signatures at the rear and around the front fog lights ensure that the DS4 stands out from the crowd. The defined coupe physique belies its versatile five-door layout. Three full-size rear seats are accessed via seamlessly integrated rear doors, with handles encased in the car's extended window frames. When open, these rear doors reveal their angular shape as a uniquely elegant design touch. There's room to seat five adults in comfort, with generous head, leg and shoulder room throughout. A large 359-litre boot increases to 385 litres using the underfloor storage. Delivering exceptional performance with environmental responsibility, DS4 is offered with a choice of five refined and highly efficient Euro 5 engines, which deliver up to 64.2 miles per gallon. The DS4 range starts at just £18,150. Aston Martin has joined forces with Parisian fashion authority Colette to produce the strictly limited edition Signet and Colette luxury city car. To celebrate the collaboration, 14 examples of the Signet and Colette city car will be handcrafted via the company's ultimate personalization service, Aston Martin's Works Tailored. The Aston Martin design team work closely with their counterparts at Colette to create the striking limited edition which features lightning silver paint with exclusive Colette blue styling details including a race collection inspired front bumper and bonnet, mirror caps and diamond turned road wheels. The bitter chocolate themed interior takes inspiration from Colette's mascot Oscar, the chocolate brown Labrador. The next exciting chapter in the continuing Mini success story has begun with the launch of the all new Mini Coupe, the fifth unique model in the family. The Mini Coupe's mission is a simple one, to maximise the thrill of being behind the wheel. Keen drivers will be rewarded with a level of handling agility unmatched in the small car segment. Every aspect of the Mini Coupe, from the choice of engines and chassis setup to weight distribution and aerodynamics, is focused on delivering the optimum dynamic performance. To prove the point, the Mini John Cooper Works Coupe has the fastest acceleration and top speed of any volume produced Mini to date. The four strong Coupe range will go on sale through Mini dealers from the 1st of October 2011, and Mini Coupe customers can expect an exceptionally high standard of equipment with a wide range of accessories and personalisation choices available. The styling team has given the Coupe a distinctive appearance from every angle. The most striking view is undoubtedly the profile, with horizontal layering of the car into three separate tiers the body, the wraparound glass, and the eye catching helmet design roof. The A pillars and windscreen are sharply raked by 13 inches compared to the Mini hatch, resulting in a smaller frontal area that gives the Mini Coupe excellent aerodynamic properties. Some 74% of European holidaymakers are travelling by car to their summer holiday destination this year, but they're still falling short when it comes to preparing themselves and their cars for the journey. A recent survey by Goodyear Dunlop covering 15 European countries found that 73% of holidaymakers are travelling by car to their summer destination this year. Historically, a large proportion of severe accidents happen during this time. However, the survey shows that millions of motorists might fail to take simple steps to minimise the dangers and stress of their big summer getaway. It's a very stressful time as well for many drivers. They drive with their full family in a fully loaded car. It's important that the drivers and the vehicle is prepared properly. The survey shows that one third of people don't know where to put heavy items. En ce qui concerne le chargement du véhicule, faut prévoir. When it comes to the loading of the vehicle, heavier luggage must be placed at the bottom of the vehicle and the lighter items on top. Then you must make sure that everything is tightly packed and there is no object that can fly forward in the vehicle. A third of drivers are also unsure about the safest way to transport pets when driving on summer holiday. Just over one in ten appreciates the destructive impact that a loose item can have during a collision. 
For example, in the case of an emergency brake situation with a collision at 50 km per hour, an unsecured item will hit the front passenger with up to 50 times its own weight. The survey also found that many drivers do not pack necessary items while preparing for a trip. When I go on holiday, of course, I check to have correct packing. I check that everything is done for the safety of the family. I'll have a look at the tire if the tires are still okay to drive, if they are, are worn or not worn, and the inflation. Uh, if this is done, this is already a good step to assure that the tire is running in the best possible condition. Drivers with worn out tires have to anticipate longer braking distances and less grip on wet roads. Driving with worn tires also means a higher risk of aquaplaning. It's very important that the vehicle and tires are in good condition before a summer journey. There are around 250 million cars registered in Europe. 73% of holidaymakers are travelling by car to their summer destination. One in four are intending to cover more than 2,000 kilometres, the survey reveals. That means holidaymakers will drive several million kilometres this summer, making it the busiest time to drive. While preparation is essential for a safe journey, the right behaviour of the driver is equally important. For example, fatigue is a major factor in road accidents. Leading motoring organisations strongly recommend having a rest at least every two hours. Many Europeans admit they are more likely to engage in dangerous driving behaviours on holiday. Nearly one in three say they'd be more likely to drive over the speed limit to reach their destination or feel anxious when driving on holiday compared to driving at home. Holidaymakers can reduce the risk to their safety by preparing their vehicles correctly, securing items inside the car properly and being careful and considerate on the roads.